All right, I'm also talking with an author. This is Eric Papp. He's the author of Leadership by Choice. And, of course, he's got kind of a cool story to tell us uh, today. Uh, his last visit here to our studios was to talk about his book. But in, in doing that, yeah, you met up with some kids from Wilcox County. Mm -hmm. And, of course, a lot of folks know uh, that's a very popular thing going on right now with their first integrated prom coming mm -hmm. up uh, this Saturday. And, of course, that led to you uh, talking to them, giving, giving them some copies of your book. And now you're going to be the guest speaker at that at that prom. Tell us a little bit about this journey that has uh, taken you to this uh, destination. I guess you could say yeah. tomorrow night. The, the the power of Fox News. It began back <laughs> in December, right here in these studios. I met the, some students from Wilcox County High School right in the lobby, and they told me what they were doing. They were raising the awareness of the integrated prom, and I felt so inspired by it. I went outside. I got them all signed copies of of the book, Leadership by Choice, and wrote in there, Dare to Lead. And they said, oh, man, this is great. Can we use this as our theme? And I said, absolutely, go with it. And, and then I got a call a couple weeks ago that said, we'd like to have you as our keynote speaker. So I was just I was blown away by that. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, you never know when you're going to come into something like that. And uh, it looks as though those kids have been inspired and they've gotten, uh, I guess, the administration there in Wilcox County to allow this uh, integrated prom. It is school sponsored this time, correct? No, it's, it's not it's actually not. school. Okay. Yeah, they're, they're, they're doing it aside from, aside that. from that. So, yes. All right. Well, certainly, I, I know that they were been trying to raise awareness for a number of years, and uh, finally getting this to fruition uh, is a big deal. And uh, what's going to be what's going to be your message to them uh, tomorrow night? My message tomorrow night is going to be what gives love, mm -hmm. and really getting them to ask themselves the questions: what gives love through their language and through their action, and to really to carry that on. You know, tomorrow will be the the starting point in a sense, but really to to carry that message on with them for the rest of their life. You know, creating that possibility. That, that maybe wasn't wasn't there. Okay, well, certainly a good message, and uh, maybe, maybe we can even get eventually the administration there in w Wilcox County to, yeah, you know, uh, come forth with an integrated prom sponsored by the school. But hey, you know, if the kids want to do it, the kids are going to do it, and I think they're all going to enjoy it. Yes, that's right. I, I think they're also they're in talks about possibly for for next year, 2014. Yeah. Well, it's certainly about time that they, that they do that. And uh, right now, we're going to go to weather. We'll talk to you uh, more in just a little bit. Right, we're talk back talking with Eric Pep. He is the author of Leadership by Choice. And, of course, we'll also be the guest speaker at that first integrated prom up in Wilcox County coming up tomorrow night. Uh, now, talk about your uh, book just a little bit. What was the inspiration behind uh, Leadership by Choice? Yeah, when, when I wrote the book, I was writing it from a perspective of what I believe is the future of leadership, and that is leadership through self-management. It's really for people taking ownership of the four areas of their life, productivity, communication, working on teams, and then also personal development. And so when I signed my name, I wrote Dare to Lead, and the students really took a hold of that in Wilcox County, and then they used that as their theme. Yeah, so that's going to be the theme of the night for the whole event, and they've made you the guest speaker. And, of course, we talked about your message for that. What would be your message uh, to folks in the community who may say, you know, we, we don't agree with this integrated prom for whatever reason. I mean, why they would, we don't know. But uh, well, what would, your, what would you uh, be saying to them? Same message. What gives love? What gives love through our language and through our actions is getting people to really think about that and answer that question. Um, you know, if, if we're called, to, if we say that we're called to love, mm -hmm. and if we, if we say that we're, we're called to do that, then we have to really start asking ourselves the question through our language and through our action, what gives love? Okay, well, great message, and we wish you luck tomorrow night up there in Wilcox County. Uh, the speaker, this is Eric Papp again, uh, the author of Leadership by Choice. And where, where can folks get your book? Folks can get the book at any major retailer, Barnes & Noble, Books A Million, also Amazon.com. They can get that as well. Okay. Are you on social media at all, Facebook yeah, and the like? Yeah, I'm, I'm on social media. My website, ericpapp.com, there's a video blog there uh, so they can have that access that as well. Okay. You can have video from uh, the prom? I, hope, hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> okay. We'll see. All right. Well, we'll look forward to seeing that. Eric, thanks a lot for hey, coming Chris, in Hey, Chris, thank you. All right. Yeah. Take care. Kelly, on over to you.